Yo, womanizer. Womanizer, womanizer. I'm a womanizer. Yo, womanizer. <laughs> I don't even know if it's I'm a oh, yo, womanizer. I'm so bad with lyrics. Oh my god. What's up, everyone? This is Mark Tuan, and I'm gonna play a game of song association with L. I'll be given a word, and I have 10 seconds to either sing or rap that word in the song. I've done this before with the group by myself. Ugh, I'm kind of scared. But before we get started, you guys can go check out my new album, The Other Side, and grab tickets for my tour if you guys haven't, and I'll see you guys then. Ah, 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 ah. Love. Oh, wow. Um, am I stuck on the first word already? It's a love story. Baby, just say yes. Taylor Swift? <laughs> is, is that how it goes? <laughs> Did I get one? <laughs> my friends karaoke her song sometimes, so yeah, girl. You're way too beautiful, girl. That's why it will never work. That song came out when, I think when I was in middle school. Yeah, long time ago. Loud. But on the surface, he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. The first time I actually got into music was because my friend played me a song. He was listening to Eminem. And I feel like Eminem was kind of what got me into listening music. Million. Oh. Oh. Million. You know you're the one out of a million. <laughs> By Mark Twan and Sanjoy. We kind of just held on to that song for a little while and then we dropped it on Valentine's Day. Because of COVID, everybody was going through such a hard time. I thought it, it would have been a good gift for the fans. Run. Um, run, let me see, you can run it, run it, can lead, I can run it, run it, Chris Brown, run it, dance, 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 I can't think of this, I can't think of a dance, um, dance, 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 <laughs> nothing's coming to my mind, miss, miss, miss independent, Oh, na, 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 na. Miss Independent. Neo, Miss Independent. In Korea, when we were training, the trainees would sing Neo's songs. I would hear them constantly playing in the vocal rooms. Light. Bright light. Fancy restaurants. Everything in this world that a man could want. A Cisco Incomplete. This was also another song that was, you know, um, a song back then that I heard a lot as a trainee. Um, people used to sing this song, and I never tried it because it was it was too hard for me. Was. Was. This is a common word. Um, you know it's not the same as it was. As it was. Um, Harry Styles, as it was. I actually listened to his album. Like, I just have it on repeat. Like, while I'm driving. Beautiful. I don't want another pretty face. I don't want just anyone to hold. I don't want my love to go to waste. I want you and your beautiful soul. Jesse McCartney, beautiful soul. Back then when we were training in Korea, we would have to sing a song every month. And this was a song that I sang for one of the times. Woman. Um. No, no. Yeah, I'm a woman. <laughs> I don't even know if it's I'm a, or you're a woman. You're a womanizer. Womanizer, womanizer. I'm a womanizer. You're a womanizer. I don't know how the lyrics go. I'm so bad with lyrics. Oh my god. Tears. Tears. She fears I will never come back here. Promised her no tears. <laughs> um, No tears by Mark Twain. The meaning behind the song is just me leaving here for Korea and I didn't want my parents to have to worry or like my family or significant other to be sad. What the fans know of me is like the happy, um, the fun. My new album, The Other Side, all the songs on there are pretty personal, are really personal to me. They're all just little stories about, you know, my experience or like my emotions in the past 10 years that I spent in Korea. I wanted the fans to get to know me a little bit more it's, it's a pretty dark album, and I just want them to know that, you know, they're not the only ones going through whatever hard times they're going through, and everything will get better. Message. I got a message. Message. No, um, shimshime, Got seven. Nah, nah, nah. We grew up training together, so we're pretty much 
like family. They're just always talking, always making jokes, always like making fun of each other. And the, the instructor kind of gets angry. <laughs> we kind of get, get, get in trouble. The musical journey for us, the seven of us, we have such different colors and different styles. God 7 has its own color too. We're more of a performance group. And then um, the, later on, we kind of found our color. So I feel like the fans can expect more from the group later on. Mood. Uh, why you always in the mood? <laughs> around like they're brand new. Uh, no, to do. <laughs> Which I really cool. Mood by 24K Golden featuring Ian Dior. That sound um, definitely inspired me. I do want to make something more kind of upbeat, more fun too, maybe in the future. Party. It's these simple words that get to you. Um, we like to party, no? Party rockers in the house tonight. Yeah, yeah, we gonna have a good time. <laughs> party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. My dream collaboration. Oh, oof. Post Malone. I don't know, I just really love his raspiness. Like his, his vocals are like very raw. Um, my favorite song by Post Malone, um, Congratulation. Like it's, it's a song that everybody gets hyped to pretty much. You. <laughs> no way. You, you are my sunshine, <laughs> my only sunshine. You make me happy. If there's a song that wasn't mine, but I could claim, what about like a song that like everybody sings, you know, like a happy birthday. That'd be so cool. Like I could say that's my song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Good. Good, good, good. I'm good. Good for you. No, no, no. That's all I know. <laughs> good for you, Olivia Rodrigo. That one song, um, Driver's License. Yeah, that was that was big when I like first moved back and then that's when I first heard about her. Got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. No, no, no. Yeah, that's all I got. Life. Um, <gasps> no! This is my life. My life by Mark Twan. You say I seem okay when I'm sitting here with all my friends. Easy to say when you're looking from the outside and I'll never change. Loving myself is all yeah. I woke up and realized this is my life. Yeah, there you go. The meaning behind the song is you get so caught up in your work or whatever it is that you do. You know, you kind of forget about yourself. I feel like everybody needs to, you know, appreciate themselves and not get so distracted by putting other people first because that kind of takes a toll on you. Baby. Baby, 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 oh. Like, baby, 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 no. Justin Bieber, baby. That was a big song back then. And that was also another song that I heard when I was in my trainee days. I really like, like the music that he's been putting out. Heart. 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 Come on, there's gotta be a bunch. How could you be so heartless? How could you be so Dr. Evil? You bring inside of me that I don't know. Kanye West, heartless. It's just a lot of pressure when you're sitting here and they give you a word and you're just like, you gotta think of something. Like I'll listen to the lyrics, but I don't memorize it. I feel like I should. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and playing a song association with me. Bye bye.